Welcome crafters. I have a fun quick and easy summer wreath for you today. In today's crafting adventure I'm going to show you how you can make this beautiful stunning farm fresh lemons wreath. Let me show you how to make it. For this project you're going to need a 14 inch wire wreath form that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. It doesn't matter what color it is you just need 14 inches. And then you're also going to need several packages of this diamond braided rope. It is made by Tool Bench. You can find it in the hardware section at Dollar Tree. Look at how pretty that is, black and white. When I saw this, they had just put it out and they had a ton of it. I was like, oh my goodness, I love that. I know I can make a beautiful wreath base using it. And that's what we're going to do today. I'll let you know once I get the base done how many packages you're going to need to finish it off. And I like how they have it because it fits right in the center. It's going to make it easy for us to wrap our base. Now I tried originally kind of weaving it in through but because of the pattern you couldn't even tell that it was woven so why bother wasting all that time if you can't even tell that you did it. So we're just going to simply wrap the base. Start right here on a crossbar. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue so I can get my end glued down. And then once you do that first wrap around, you want to glue it to itself as well. And then just go ahead and start wrapping your sections. You want to make sure that you keep your wrap nice and tight. And every once in a while, just kind of push everything over and tap it down with some hot glue to make sure that it does not move. Let's see how pretty that's looking. Very nice. Just continue to wrap until you get your base covered. I have my base wrapped and now um, I have a little bit left from each roll and it took two of these rolls to do the base. Each one left me an extra piece and I'm using this to fill in. Now because you have a smaller inner circle and a larger outer circle. When you're wrapping you want to make sure that your inner circle is nice and tight all the way around but you're going to end up with some spaces and I'm going to show you how to take care of that. So take your leftover piece, lay it down in the space and wrap it around so you can see how long you're going to need to cover that. it. I'm going to need a couple pieces. So. And then from the front you want to start on the nice side. To get it in the first piece is the easiest so that's why you want to start on the nice side. Come down to between that second and inner ring and that's where you're going to push in the end. So it goes in down under the two that are side by side. Take your glue gun, stick it in there and add a little bit of hot glue. Then on the two bars add a little dab of hot glue there. And then lay it down so it's nice and flat. Then I kind of push the ones that are next to it over a little bit to make sure it's nice and steady. And as you can see that blends perfectly in. You wouldn't even know it's there. Turn it around and you do the same thing. You pull that to the back. And I get a little dab of glue and push it down. And then take the ends and tuck them in. You don't even know it's there. So then I just kind of push everything over till I find an area that has a big wide space that I need to fill in. And then I'll add another piece. You don't want to do them right next to each other so go over uh, about five to ten wraps and then add another piece until it's nice and full. Thank you. 
And there you go. The base looks nice and full and I love the black and white effect. Nice. Let's work on the bow now. I pulled out three different ribbons. These two I got from craftoutlet.com. This one is two and a half inches at 10 yards. It was $6.50. This one is one and a half inches at 10 yards. It was $3.19. And this one I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's the Robert Stanley collection. It was regularly $4.99. I believe I got 40 or 50% off. And this is one and a half inches at 10 yards. So we're gonna start with our largest ribbon. I'm gonna measure my tails here at six inches. I'm going to pinch and twist. The nice side of the ribbon on your tail should be facing up, but once you come through to start making your loops for your bow, the nice side of your ribbon should be facing down. And I'm going to measure about four inches, and I'm going to try to get two loops on either side. I'm almost out of this ribbon, so let's hope I can get that. If you're enjoying today's content, make sure to subscribe. And when the notification bell pops up, if you hit that too, YouTube will let you know every time I upload new content. And I do upload new content to my channel every week. Now I'm going to go to my black and white check. Again, I'm going to measure my tails at six inches, pinch and twist. Even though this is nice on both sides, I still like to pinch and twist when I come through. It seems to make the bow a little bit easier to open up when you're done. Again, I'm going to measure my loops here at four inches. And again, I'm going to do two loops on either side at four inches. For your convenience, in the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials used in today's project. This list will not only tell you how much you're going to need, it will also let you know where I purchased the materials. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow ribbon. Six inches, pinch and twist, and then two loops on either side at four inches. Now I'm doing all my loops approximately the same size so that my bow will come out looking round. Now I'm going to go back to my black and white check. I want a center loop of my black and white check. So I'm just going to decide how big of a loop I want. Pinch it at the bottom and cut. And I'm just going to place that inside. And that's going to be my center loop. So the little ends are over here. I will hide those once I get everything together and I fluff out my bow. Take a full length pipe cleaner. You want to lift it up and put it in underneath one side until you get next to your dowel rods. Pull it together. Push all that ribbon down and then pinch so it stays nice and snug and then you can lift it out. It'll keep it nice and stacked. Just wrap that around the front, pull it nice and snug, and pull to the back. Give a couple twists. Okay. Now these little ends from that center bump, I'm just going to push down and kind of wrap them to the back. I want to keep those out of the way, so I'm going to hot glue those little ends in the back here. Okay. 
If you have any funny little string ends or excess ribbon, go ahead and just trim that off. And then pull your tails down and open up your loops. Okay, here on the tails, I am going to dovetail them and I'm gonna leave them pretty much the length they are. As you can see, the black and white here tends to fray. So right after you cut it, you wanna take a lighter and just gently go over the edges there. That will singe it so that they do not fray on you. I need to clean it up a little bit. There's nothing worse than doing hard work and having it look beautiful only for it to fray away in front of your eyes. I think that's so pretty. I love that color combination. Perfect. Oh, I love the bow. I think it is so cute. Now, before we get the bow attached, I want to attach the hanger. And I'm just going to take a full length pipe cleaner, wrap it around the base. Just going to kind of tie it off and then wrap each short piece around the longer. Then I'm going to take that mess and kind of pull it to the back, pull straight up and give it a twist. You want to make sure that that knot and everything goes to the back because you really don't want to see that. Just kind of tuck it down. Okay, and that's what you're going to use to hang your wreath. If you want, you can add a little bit of hot glue in the back over where the two crossed. Now over that is where we're gonna place our bow. And I did go ahead and add an additional pipe cleaner so I had plenty of pipe cleaner. So just wrap it around, get it nice and tight and give a good couple twists. Trim off the excess, twist and push that down. And then I'm going to add some hot glue. I don't want any sharp edges. I don't want that to lift up and then be sharp on the back of somebody's door. Okay. I have my bow attached. I did end up putting a piece of ribbon over that. I just really didn't want anything scratchy on the back. And I love it because you can't see that hanger from the front. My bow is on and I'm starting to add some lemons and I have three picks. These came from Dollar Tree. They are Farmer Square Fruit Picks. My stores have recently restocked these. And uh, I trimmed the end here because it was a little too long. I want to place one here on either side and I found if I hot glue it down first and then reinforce it with some zip ties it makes it much easier to get it placed properly. zip tie and the glue and that's all going to be hidden by the bow. I have my three picks in. I'm very happy. 
Now to top it off, we're going to be using this sign that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I really love it and it goes perfect. The black and white check in the back, the bright lemons, farm fresh lemons. Now this came in a two pack. This was the other one that came with it. So you can use one or both, however you would like to do it. And if you're not into lemons, they also have bee themed ones and two come in a pack. So if you wanted to go with a bee theme, that would be great. The only thing you would really have to change is instead of using lemon ribbon and the lemons, use bee ribbon and maybe some other uh, florals, but really cute. So to get my sign ready, I removed the cord that was there and I've attached two full length pipe cleaners and then I just added a little extra glue and put a piece of cardboard over the top to make sure that that stays nice and secure. And then to attach that you just simply wrap those pipe cleaners around the wreath form and secure it in the back. And there you go we are all done. Oh I'm so pleased with the end result. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the bow. The lemons look great and the sign. Everything pulled together wonderfully on this wreath. If you're looking for more summer inspiration, you're going to want to check out my top 10 summer wreaths. You can click into it right here. Thanks so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show some love in the comments. This does help support my channel. If you know anyone who would enjoy my content, please share it with them. Have a great day. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.